Hey guys, and today I'm going to be talking about what can you do in the last 10 days of Ramadan. Anyway, so let's get to this video, shall we? Okay, so I'll tell you, in only 10 more days, the Ramadan is about to finish. And I just can't believe it. I can't believe the time went by so fast. You know, at first the Ramadan started, and before you know it, or before I know it, and we only have 10 more days. The, the 20 days of Ramadan has already gone by. So I can't believe the time went by. You know, this is something I've learned. When, when you have fun, when you just enjoy yourself, when you enjoy your time and be happy, then the time is going to go by, you know, so don't worry. Anyway, so during the, for the last 10 days of Ramadan, what you can do is you can read the Holy Quran more. You know, this is the thing here. If you say like any ayah or any word in the Holy Quran during Ramadan, then the hasanat is going to be 10 times more than usual. You know, so this is something to consider, especially in Ramadan. In Ramadan, like any hasanat you get is going to be 10 times more than usual, which is really good because if you get so much hasanat in only one month, in only in the holy month of Ramadan, that's definitely going to be great. That's definitely going to take you to the paradise in the afterlife. You know, believe it or not. So, this is something you should consider. And of course, Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam. You know, I've said this before in a few of my videos, that Ramadan is one of the five pillars of Islam, on top of going to the Hajj once in your life when you can, Zakat, like helping the poor, and of course doing the prayer, like the five prayers of the day, as always. And of course, Shahadat, that means... Basically, that means there is no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So, this is what it means in Arabic. So, this is one of the five pillars of Islam. And of course, you should not eat and drink, you know, during the daylight, you know. You cannot have it, you cannot eat and drink until sunset. You know, you can eat any time during the night until the dawn prayer, also known as Salat al fajr so keep that in mind so this is what you can do during the last 10 days of ramadan and of course also what you can do not to mention you can also say those good words from allah for example subhanallah glory to all and to god alhamdulillah that means praise be to allah la ilaha illallah means there is no god but allah and allahu akbar that means allah is great so this is what it means or god is great either way Allah means God in Arabic, so either way it has so many meanings. So this is what you can do during the last 10 days of the Ramadan, and I'm going to get to the conclusion. Okay, so in conclusion, I'm definitely going to get all this hasanets during the holy month of Ramadan. Especially that this is really going to help me for me going to the paradise in the afterlife, you know, the next life. You know, this is definitely what I'm going to consider, this is definitely what I'm going to do. You know, for the last 10 days of Ramadan, I'm going to read the Holy Quran even more. And of course, say those good words from Allah. Like for example, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Those are the, the good words from Allah, but it's in Arabic. So, this is something to keep in mind. So, this is why I told you what you can do for the last 10 days of Ramadan. So, there you go. And hopefully this helps. Anyway, so that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. And yeah, that was me briefly talking about what you can do in the last 10 days of Ramadan. So like I said, hopefully this helps. So make sure you like and subscribe. And of course, make sure you share it to all your family and friends out there. Please do, because this helps me grow my channel. Anyways, guys, so thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys again in the next one.